Hi there, welcome to this uh, example video where we look at the visualization of a stack. So what is a stack? What are the different operations which are allowed on a stack? And what happens when I push an element into the stack? What happens when I pop an element out of the stack? We'll understand all these things about a stack. So what is a stack? A stack is basically a last in first out kind of a queue. So what's a last in first out kind of a queue? So last in first out means whatever is last inserted into the array or whatever is last inserted into the data structure would be the first one which would pop out. So if I insert, let's say three elements, I insert five, six and seven and I say pop, I would get seven out because that's the last one which was inserted. So if I insert 10, 15 and 20 and do a pop, I would get 20 out. So whatever is the last element which is inserted into the data structure would be the first one which would be popped out. So this has a lot of applications, I mean a lot of applications in uh, a lot of uh, programming related stuff. Uh, a really good example would be uh, recursion and that's also how the memory works when you're using recursion. It would use a stack because the last function call uh, would uh, like what when I call recursively the same function all the values which are there at per that particular time would be pushed into a stack so there are a lot of other applications of stack for now let's get to the simple operations which are present in the stack uh, which are push and pop a push operation inserts a value into the stack so uh, when I said I insert one uh, like let's say I want to insert three elements into the stack 15 20 and 25 then basically the operations which I do is push 15, push 20 and push 25. So push is an operation which helps us to insert an element into a stack and pop is an operation which helps us to take the last element which is inserted out of the stack. So when I do a pop the last element which was inserted into the array is uh, given back and removed from the top of the array. So uh, the uh, we, we Current, we would look at a visualization of the array implementation of the stack in this video and here you look at uh, the array implementation the array which we are going to use has 30 elements so the maximum amount of elements which you can store in this particular element in this particular array is 30 so the maximum number of elements that we can have in this particular stack is 30 so if you try to insert the 31st element it would probably crash or it would throw an exception so in, saying uh, not enough space or uh, you can't maximum size exceeded something of that kind and also you'd see an index called top top represents what uh, like you can see two ways top represents the index at which uh, like the top represents the uh, number of elements in the array so there are different ways to look at top in this in the current implementation you can look at top as how many elements that are present in the array so right now we don't have any element in the array so top is zero so when we insert one element top would be one when we insert two elements top becomes two so top is a very useful thing in the implement array implementation of the array because we would know how many elements are there in the array using the top so let's try one example so let's say I want to push 12 so oops, that too quick so let's just say let's pop 12 out so pop 12 out and let's see what happens I would want to push 12 again in oops so let's say we want to push 12 so I'm trying to push 12 so the value which I want to push is 12 so you'd see that first the top value is 0 so at the, in the array at index 0 the value 12 would be put in so you would see that top is 0 so index 0 the value 12 is put in and because now the stack contains one element top would be incremented so top becomes 1 so that's the first push so I want to now push in 15 let's say I want to push 15 so the top nav is 1 so we would top is 1 we want to go to index 1 and put the value 15 and 
now the top is incremented because we have now have two elements in the array sorry two elements in this stack and the array as well now we want to push in let's say 25 I want to push 25 so what happens now you can guess so 25 is put into index 2 and top would be incremented from 2 to 3 so that's basically the steps 2 index 2 25 is pushed in and 3 so writing the code for this is very simple it's basically uh, array of top the array of top is equal to the element to be inserted and top plus plus so those are the two steps in inserting an element into a stack when we are using the uh, array implementation you can visualize those things here already so let's say we want to now do a pop so I want to pop an element out of this array so what happens so I am trying to pop so first we would read the value at top top is now 3 we would decrement the top so top becomes 2 because we would now want to take the top element out of the array so there'd only be two elements in the array so top represents the number of elements in the array so we push we we decrement the top and it becomes 2 and we pop we take the element at 2 so the uh, at top uh, like the current value of top is 2 and at 2 the element is 25 so 25 so 2 and 2 the element is 25 and it's given out so the it's returned back so pop would return the element 25 and that's the end and now again if I do a pop you would see first the top is increment decremented then we return the element at a of top so the array of top the element is returned back so now we have only one element in the array I can push a few uh, uh, a few more elements into the array so top and top becomes 2 pushing value 9 19 so the value 19 would be put into the array and top is incremented now so now top represents the right number of elements in the array so we want to now write the code for the pop operation so as we looked at earlier the way pop is done first we decrement the top so the code is top minus minus and then we take the element which is at in the current value of top after decrementing the top whatever is the value in top we take the element at that index and return it back so the code for a pop is very simple it's top minus minus or top is equal to top minus one whichever you prefer and then we would return a of top which is the last element which is the uh, the element at the current index of the top so a, we return a of top to back a of top is a of two and we will return 19 back so we return 19 back so that's basically the logic for a pop operation when we want to clear the stack all that we need to do is set the top to zero so if you set the top to zero the stack gets cleared so we can just try a small game and say I want to push 12 you can, you can see what's happening 15 element at top top incremented 25 25 set put at 2 and top is incremented 67 89 109 and you can see how the whole thing works and if I pop it now you can see that top is decremented and the element at top is returned again top is decremented element which was last inserted is returned top is decremented the last element is returned so that's basically how a stack works in this video we looked at the visualization of a stack when it's implemented using an array there are a lot of other videos on data structures and algorithms on our channel do look them up until next time bye
If you like this video, show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video. We are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak. Subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.